Good morning and welcome back to Bay Area Focus. From diabetes prevention to cultural events, Intertribal Friendship House provides a range of helpful programs to Native Americans. Carol Wapipa and Lorena Rivera are here to discuss them. Thanks for coming on the show. Thank you. For having me. All right, you're going to celebrate the 59th anniversary of the Intertribal Friendship House. That's amazing. Congratulations on that. Tell me about tell me about it and okay. what it's done all of these years. Have its 59th anniversary on Saturday, November the first, mm -hmm. at the David Bauer Center in Berkeley, and uh, Intertribal has been in existence for 59 years. Uh, in the 50s and 60s, the government relocated a lot of. Uh, people from different tribes and reservations to Oakland and San Francisco and different uh, urban communities. And in Oakland, the uh, Native community, with the help of the American Friends and Service Committee, formed a group and um, get, purchased the building. We actually own our own building. And <clears throat> we have uh, a lot of cultural programming and different other programs that we have. Uh, we do. Is there a big Native American community there is. in the Bay there Area? There is, yeah. Some, uh, some of our events, we have up to 155 different tribes oh. of, uh, present. Yeah, we do a variety of different cultural programming around different uh, tribes so mm -hmm. that the community learns about each other. Yeah, that's amazing, yeah. and a lot of people as well. Yeah. So yeah. one thing you really, you really try to focus on is health. Health, yeah, because of the fact that diabetes is a... Um, a severe epidemic with all communities, but particularly the Native American community. Mm -hmm. And so a type two diabetes, we're trying to address it. We have a health policy of no salt, no sugar, no sodas. And we do do have cooking there. So we have uh, traditional cooking classes. Mm -hmm. We don't use those things in our cooking. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> we have a community garden. So we try to get, and we also offer free produce every week. Uh, and this is a picture yeah. of People kids, working in garden. the garden? Yeah, yeah. Our children know how to garden and our elders help teach them. Uh, and and uh, Lorena, you work with a lot of the kids. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. And tell me about tell me about some of the kids' programs there. I mean, we have the kids' garden. and Well, we recently, this past summer, we had a summer youth cultural arts program. So we do that every summer where we bring in cultural presenters to do activities with the kids um, from across the Bay Area from the ages of 6 to 11. So we had... Um, you know, they learned how to make hand drums, they've done beading, um, arts and crafts, mm -hmm. singing, native singing. So um, that's one of our main uh, projects we do every year. And do they learn a lot about their own tribes or many others? It's an inner tribal, so we uh, learn about everybody that's mm -hmm. uh, there participating. We bring in uh, speakers from different this is a picture of our um, last summer program. Mm -hmm. We had our young people there. And a beautiful mural behind them. Yes. Um, IFH has a lot of murals done by community members. Mm -hmm. So we take great pride in that. So you have this youth development program and you really focus on ages 14 to 24. Right. Tell so me we, what you do in that program. Um, we've done, we've had two um, inter internships where we've had young people um, from across Oakland and Richmond, and they've done leadership development. Uh, the first internship, they um, put together a 27-minute documentary about relocation. So they interviewed our elders from the community mm -hmm. and uh, were able to share that story through that uh, video, and then they shared it with other community organizations. And Carol, you have a harvest event coming up in November? Yes, on November 22nd, we have a uh, community dinner and uh, we feed between four and 500 people mm -hmm. at it. Yeah, so we're always looking for donations to help out with it. It takes a lot of turkeys. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. So that's in November, but you also have a December, December event as well. Yeah, December we have a holiday event and we give out gifts to about 200 kids. Um, we feed everybody. It's about 500 people to come to that too. And um, we have Santa Claus who gives out the gifts. And that's it's fun. Pretty, it's exciting. Yeah, yeah. that's fun yeah. and exciting. All right. Well, thank you so much for coming on the show and telling us about it. Donations are always needed for these holiday yeah. events as well. So we yeah. want to get that out there. And for more information on the Inner Tribal Friendship House, please log on to ifurbanres.org. Again, that's ifurbanres.org. Dot org. Coming up, we'll hear how one nonprofit empowers Latina entrepreneurs to join co-ops. We'll be right back.